Well, the Incan hordes, the golds that is up here, soon should be ours. Can I get my trade map mode here? What am I doing? Here, we want this gold. I want the gold. Welcome back, everybody, to uh, Beyond Type is here in Europa Universalis 4. I hope that you guys have been having an absolutely wonderful day. And uh, I hope that you guys have been doing well. I think today might be Christmas or the day before. Uh, either way, I hope that you guys, I hope that this message finds you well. I hope that if you are home traveling or anything like that, that you are safe and enjoying time with friends and family. I genuinely wish the best for you, friends. Go ahead and let me know in the comments down below. What are you guys going to be doing for this holiday season? Because I am curious what you guys are up to. Especially over in Europe, because I know that they're, uh... The loving, caring governments of Europe. Looking out for their people, right? So I've been told. Either way, though, I hope you guys are all doing wonderful. So we need to just win this siege here. Uh, basically, I just went in and killed all their armies. Oh, looks like they've got some more. But, uh, yeah, I don't really care. I can I can get rid of these guys very quickly here. Should be pretty straightforward. Where am I at on tech? Yeah, I should probably not be barraging walls. We have a big old stack here, though. We'll be good. More colonies finishing up down here. Oh, that was a Portuguese colony. Right. Okay. Uh, yes, so I said I was going to get Miltech, but what I'd actually rather do is uh, do that because artillery combat ability and uh, sure, 5% settler chance. Uh, neither of these are particularly useful to us, so I'm okay with uh, not spending the extra Diplo. Just need to win a siege soon. Sooner rather than later would be good. Uh, the siege has been going on for a bit longer than I feel is necessary, let's be honest. Half a year to siege down a native native province. Alright, let's get down here and uh, kill them all. Oh, they're they're really just going to run that fast. Okay. Cool, man. <laughs> Alright, we'll go with the monarchist. That is fine. Very good. The more of their men that we destroy, the better. It will uh, not only... Did I just have the same song play twice? Looks like I did. Just uh, want to get them pieced out of the war sooner rather than later. Looks like my general died as well. So we should probably try to get our general back there. Or get a general back there. And it looks like we are indeed ready to colonize again. So let's see here. Yep. Mostly want to stick to the same colonial regions and buff up my uh, colonies first. Alrighty then. So they got a fort up here. Let's have you guys head up this way. This stat can uh, actually let's get a general on you just in case we run into somebody in the fog of war. Tends to be kind of annoying. We're also maxed out on admin. And our uh, golden era is gone. You hate to see it happen, folks. I'm sure this just pains some people to see. Deving admin? What has happened to us? What has come of us? All right. Speaking of this, we also have money, so let's upgrade Alhambra, and uh, I will do that, and then I'll spend whatever manpower I have. The sooner we get it, the better. If we could get it before the end of the war, that would be ideal. Basically, we're trading money and manpower for uh, uh, admin efficiency, which I think is a very solid trade. I will gladly do that. No questions asked. Guess we're going to fight some of these guys over here. All right, we got our navy over here, so let's send out some of them. Let's have these guys explore, let's say, North East Pacific. I, I don't particularly care what we go, where we go. As long as we're going somewhere. Now, this is coastal, so since we got it blockaded, we're in a good spot now. It's interesting that they haven't even touched my land over here. I'm curious as to why they have not. But I would like to full annex you guys, or at least get as close as we can. Let's see here. Actually... It'd be even better if we take everything up here and we expel them to an OPM up here. Oh, they would actually accept that. Well, I think I would also like to take some of this land over here because it's all in the same... Well, we'll see. We will see, we will see. Should be pretty straightforward, honestly, though. Let's uh get a general. Have them actually head up this way to that fort. Oh, right, that fort over there. Okay. I did not mean to do that. Have you guys head over here to that level one? Have you guys head over here to these two? Let's have you guys head over here to this one. And then we'll have you guys get on to this one here with another general. 
All right. We have Colonial La Plata. Let's go with a... What's this crown colony? Settler increase. Let's go with private enterprise. La Plata. And uh, we're good. Now, we can recall some of our boys, so we should do that. I mean, the sooner we can push them to be bigger, the better. So it looks like the natives are actually up here. That's why I didn't see any of them down here. Fine by me. I don't uh, particularly care. We have a mission. La Plata. Global tariffs. Very good. Does that give my boys disloyal? No, it does not. Okay. Oh, global tariffs is right here. Tariff efficiency, basically. Okay. I uh, wasn't exactly sure how that worked, so... Can you guys tell I don't colonize much? <laughs> I would like to take at least these three provinces as well. And uh, this province in here as well. So let's uh, begin the march over there into the fog of war. Win these forts. And uh, they still haven't touched my land over here. So we're good. <laughs> we're in a good spot. We're actually very fortunate that the AI is not, uh, not being aggressive towards my little stacks at all. Matter of fact, they are completely ignoring me, which is wonderful. Have you guys head up there? Uh, monarchists. I definitely want the monarchists in power. Our statesman leaves. He's full price, yeah? So I don't care. We'll go to the trade efficiency guy and get him up to level 3. And uh, I'll just lose the prestige. I don't ever want to give my vassals a reason to be uh, pissy with me. Let's get you guys over here to win a siege or two. Oh, they're winning provinces sieges down here. That's annoying. It is what it is, though. Now, once I win this one here, we can probably peace out, assuming they're willing to accept. And they are. Very good. Wait a minute. There's more. Oh, no, no. That's owned by them. Okay, very good. And I'll take all the money they're willing to give. And just like that, we've got Peru. So since we have three cores down here, and I'm going to explain this real quick because it's a little complicated. Whenever you have provinces, a colonial nation will form when you have five cores in a colonial region. All right. That being said, I don't have to core all this because the colonial nation will form and they will core everything. So rather than spending my admin mana, I can have them spend it. Because unless our cores are all finished at the same time, you lose your core progress anyways. So the best way to do this is take a look. We have three cores right here in this colonial region. Now you need to find the three that have the lowest cost right here. So that's or the two more that have the lowest cost. So those two are cost 11. Right? So, once we core that up, they'll have five in this region. One, two, three, four, five. And uh, I won't have to touch that again. The colonial nation will form, and uh, we're going to be in a good spot. So, I might as well convert a couple of their provinces for them, right? Three missionaries. Jeez, oh, Pete, man. And let's make sure we're not gaining any, uh, yeah, any of that. Let's also come on over here and make sure we finish you ASAP. There we go be done here in 10 years apparently goodness gracious it's expensive man all right we need to find a province that is not uh, gonna kill my men this is literally all garbage terrain wow it's really all bad are you kidding me man the mountains are actually better let's have our boys park up in the mountains i suppose but just like that, Spanish Peru makes a uh, makes a comeback. We also have Portuguese Brazil, and uh, we have the Spanish West Indies, New Granada, and uh, Boa Ventura over here. All of them are in colonial Colombia, which is hilarious. I'm just glad that the West Indies are making it happen. You know, Mexico is absolutely popping off. So I suppose it might be in our best interest to uh, get an army over here. So I assume we have the force limit, yeah. We have a lot of men just chilling over here. Right, because we took over the Portuguese army. We have more armies sitting somewhere that I don't know about. All right, let's just get rid of you guys. We do not need that. These guys here. All right, so those guys are right there. These guys are probably good to stay here. Speaking of, though, we need to make sure that we are adding these things to the trade company. And uh, that right there is going to give us quite a bit of extra trade, which is going to be good. I'm also getting raided somewhere. In Valencia? Are you kidding me? Hunting pirates in Valencia. Son of a gun. All right. Let's, um, let's have these guys detach a few more ships here. 
have them hunt pirates in Valencia as well. While having the rest of you guys protect trade in Valencia. So that should help out a bit more with that. Now... That devastation, man. That's annoying. Alright. Rather than loot... Oh, we don't have prosperity. Right. Because this is Valencia as well. Okay. So a couple of things here. I'm going to build a fort here. I'm going to build a fort here, I said. I'm going to build a fort... Right here. <laughs> Uh, so that will get rid of that devastation there. And then I'm going to get another one right here when I have the money. And that will handle that devastation there. Sadly, man. All right, let's get you built there. I could upgrade a couple of my forts, but I don't think it's necessary. I'll lose the staff for literally no reason. And I'll just buy it back up. I don't mind. The overextension is pretty bad. So as soon as we form our colonial nation, then we won't have to worry about it anymore. So it'll come in time. No big deal. There's going to be a little bit of unrest, but once it switches over to the um, those guys, it will actually get better. Riff, huh? We have plenty of admin mana, and as long as I have governing cap, I'll. Uh, there's no downside to coring stuff up. Lowers autonomy, gives us better goods produced and whatnot, so. More manpower, production efficiency, all those things, so. All right, so when is this going to be done? 80? I would like it to get done a little bit sooner than that. So I think I'll do two more, like this guy here. One, yeah, let's do one more click of each. That's fine. What is our overextension? Oh, wow. That was some good, good quick maps, yeah? All right, so I'm going to have these guys actually all head over. Oh, how many, tra how many transports do I have? Right, okay. So... Let's have my Navy, because we're not going to need the Navy back over in this theater again. So what we're going to do here... Okay. So have you guys head over this way to, like, Lisboa. Have these guys head over this way. Do they have an Admiral with Maneuver? They do. Very good. Should get a couple more conversions done over there. The AI doesn't uh, convert in Colonial Region, so... Might as well go for it. So we got a couple of ships here. Oh, this is actually nice. These guys will make a fine addition to our um, our nation here. Oh, come on now. Really, Pope Man? I don't need the admin, so I'll just... Uh, I'd rather spend it on... Right. So you can do this now because we're not Papal Controller, which is unfortunate. I did not know that that was a rule. Seems kind of arbitrary, to be honest with you. Golden Bull, dev cost. Very cool. All right, so this 23 stack is going to be all right. Yep, a 15-8. I'll take that. We're just waiting on our ships to get over here. Looks like they're going to take a couple of months of attrition. It'll happen. Neapolitan Separatists. Really, man? Yeah, a 38 stack over here taking attrition. I ain't even know about it. Let's uh, have you guys use your, man use your money there, and they'll be done this year. All right. So let's have this these guys come on over then. Let's have half the army head over this way. A church in Avero. Manpower of at least 50%. And we'll get what? A master recruiter, huh? That's funny. They give you the uh the reward. They give you uh like basically what something that would help you get the mission that they give you in the first place. Uh have a port that is Producing spices or silk. Well, I can do that. I uh, will likely be able to do that at least. Morian separatists. Uh-uh-uh. Naughty naughty. Let's uh, get Ignacio over there. So we got 14 transports over here. So let's have those guys brought on over. Actually, let's boat bomb them so I don't have to tra teleport anybody else around. Let's have you guys brought over there. Have you guys head over here. All right, very good. So this army will hang out over here now. We can go with... Uh, none of these are particularly good. I guess we'll go with ship trade power propagation. 
Let's have these guys brought over here because this 23 stack is going to head over and uh, begin the Mexican campaigns. I hope you guys are excited for a little bit of Mexican conquest. So let's explore. Let's go with Western Indian coast. I don't know if exactly. Oh, that's the Arabian Sea. Okay. So yeah, we need to go with the Arabian Sea next. That will allow us to ho hopefully get ourselves a, um, a whatchamacallit, a, um, Oh, nice. Prestige. Hopefully that will allow us to get a, um, a base to land on in, um, in India. A charter or a trade company is, is the word that I was try trying to say there. Can you guys tell that I have a hard time speaking English? Sadly. People tease other people for having bad English and I have bad English and it's my native tongue. <laughs> All right. Montevideo. We got our... And let's go with you there as well. Get La Plata nice and strong. Now, hopefully these guys are not going to be taking... Oh, shoot. You got to be kidding me. We are losing transports. Well, let's see. That's unfortunate. We have some transports that are at zero. Apparently, it looks like we need to upgrade our Navy. I'm sure people have been... People are usually like really good on, good on that, but... It is what it is. All right. We're out of sailors as well. Need some money for that. That's okay. All right. So what we need to do here, let's see here. If I can get you guys to uh, get some claims over here as well, would be useful. It's uh, well, hold on a minute, because as soon as we finish these cores, that prop, this is gonna form La Plata there, or not La Plata, Peru. Come on now. How far off can I be? Gotta be like one month, two months tops. I feel like it takes forever. The slowdown in BT is real, friends. It doesn't run that bad, though. Uh, so then next month on the monthly ticket should happen, yeah? One, two, three, four, five. Uh, I am very confused now. Oh, okay. Now, there we go. <laughs> that was weird. Okay, so they will be a crown colony, I think. I mean, the goods produced is just so good. Yeah, whatever. I don't understand. Like, can anybody tell me where you think it might be a better idea to go with a crown colony versus a, um, whatchamacallit? A, um, private enterprise? Because private enterprise just seems objectively better. Yeah. All right, so we have an extra merchant from Mexico. So maybe we steer from Mexico or maybe somewhere over here in Africa would be good. Or maybe we steer from... Hmm. I think it would be smart of us to transfer their trade power and then transfer with you. So let's take a look here. We're at 77, roughly. Call it 77. Once they get there, they're going to transfer that down there. This is going to give it... This is going to... Oh! Nani! Oh my gosh, that's a really good... That's a really good jump right there. Okay. I can live with that. There we go. Miltech has been attained. You guys will now explore the Arabian Sea. And we're going to save up some money and hopefully buy a province over here from VJ. See if we can uh, get this, uh, this guy here, as well as it's going to start us... The East Indies here discovered all provinces in the Malaccas. Okay. Well, that's going to take some time. Uh, Incan hordes need a little bit more over there. That's fine. Kingdom of New Granada. Five states have been assigned to Holy Order. Yes. So somebody had mentioned the Galapagos is actually in the state and I didn't see it down there. So yes, this is apparently the, in, a, in that state there. These guys have... They're having a hard time colonizing full states. See, like this one here we can do. So that's fine. This one here is also a state. This one's a full state. Okay. So since I have plenty of admin, I'm just going to spend that. Right? There's no downside to it. But it doesn't tell me how many we have. All provinces, colonial Columbia region are owned by us. Okay. So it's just going to take some time. In due time, it will happen. All right. Yep. No problem. All right. So 
let us begin the conquest of uh, Mexico. So Tarasan. Okay, or whatever that is. Tarascan. We want these guys to be... Okay, so like this is perfect. This will allow us to take quite a bit of clay over there. And I plan to basically take all of Mexico in one foul swoop, essentially, is my plan there. Uh, Brazil. Have you steered? Are you still into Lisbon? Okay. Steering from the K, but cannot reach Zanzibar. Alexandria is probably a good one. Look how much money is in Alexandria. Holy smokes. Definitely. If you don't know, it's basically always worth steering. Like, look at this. Six or 87. Just like that. Uh, it says we didn't go up, but we are steering quite a bit. You gain trade power if you steer. A lot of people don't know that. A lot of people tend to be like, well, why don't you just collect? You should just be collecting. It's not always that simple. Steering uh, calculates... Um, st tra steering trade power is super efficient as far as what it costs to do it. So... Like, the merchant will give you some pretty solid buffs if you are steering rather than collecting. Because you get a penalty for not collecting in your own home node. So I'm going to have one of these guys go to my own subjects. Let's have two of them go to my own subjects. Wait a minute. Oh, that color is like the same. Very good. Well, I plan to annex all of these, basically. That is my goal there. Looks like these guys are at war with other people, though. Yep, they are. All right. Okay, we'll see how we can uh, come up with this one. Uh, get some cavalry bonuses, sure. Greek separatists. Let's have you guys get suppressed over here. I do like that it tells you that you're going to have rebels in your vassals land now. This is actually my own land. Naxos, huh? Goodness gracious. But I do like it that it tells you that you'll have vassals in your rebels' lands now. It didn't used to. That's a new thing. Just got to win some sieges and we'll be good to go. But yes, I want to take a second to say, if you guys have been enjoying the campaign and you haven't already subscribed to the channel, there's plenty of content that you're missing out on if you are not subscribed. So I definitely encourage you to subscribe to the channel. And uh, if you want to, you can ding the bell and you'll get notifications whenever we upload new videos to the channel. Which is the best way to keep up to date with what's going on if you are interested in that. Oh, look at my vassals. I love it. I love having, like, so here's the thing. Colonization is so boring, but look at this. Well, okay, these guys are all pretty broke. None of them really have money. So New Spain's getting big. Spanish Mexico, I think I will subsidize a bit. Give them like five, six ducats a month there forever. Let's have these guys. We'll give them, a, again, like six ducats a month. That's fine. Now, these guys have 6,000. The West Indies, I think, would be the better choice. So I'll subsidize them at the very least. Now, hopefully these guys get out of that war pretty quick. That would be nice. Yearly prestige, we're already maxed out on. Tax, absolutely not. Let's go with production. Production efficiency is going to increase our income quite a bit, which is nice. He's going to give us like an extra five ducats a month. Jesuit mission. Very cool. I like a uh, settler chance. Never going to complain about that, you know. So this is not me. That is Chichimeca. Do I have a claim on them? I do not, sadly. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Let's have you guys now explore Eastern Indian. We've got Western. Now we go with the Eastern, yeah? Yeah, my vassals should handle basically all this on their own, though. Yeah, so Spanish, Mexico. Pay off their debt of 300 ducats. And now they're making money. So they should be able to uh, start popping some armies out now. Have everybody be sieging. I tend to just have my AI vassal siege. You still have not gotten any claims yet. It'd be cooler if they did. Obviously, we plan to take as much as we possibly can over here in Mexico. The more we get, the uh, quicker we will be able to uh, get that sorted out. So this is all colonial Mexico. Very good. 
and explore, let's say, East China Sea. Yes. Destroy them all. Corrupt the child. So it looks like some of these wars we're going to end up needing to wait on. Now, let me see. Who are you at war with? These guys. Do I have claims on you? I don't think I do, actually. Nope. That's annoying. Who you allied to, huh? Nobody. One man wolf pack. All right. Who are you allied to? These guys here? This is fine. Let's uh, begin the process of getting you guys siege down now. Very good. But I hope you guys have been enjoying the campaign. If you have, please do make sure you let me know by leaving a like on the video. Subscribe if you have not already. Ding the bell and you'll get notifications whenever we upload new videos. If you have not already considered. And then if you want to support me on Patreon, uh, that is the best way to support my content. If you really do like what I do and you want to see more of it, you can support on the Patreon linked in the description below my videos. It is very much appreciated. And I hope that you guys all have an absolutely wonderful Merry Christmas. And uh, this is Chewy Shoot, and I will catch you guys later.